This is a little over a 100-year-old building. It wasn't a restaurant before, so it was a dry cleaners. Okay. So the whole converting over to a restaurant was kind of tricky. We had to do brand new plumbing, you know, um, they had to tear up all the streets. Um, we found, what, a couple of issues in the basement, you know, leaks. It's an old building. Right now, this is a 100, 100 and something year old floor, so we kind of want to preserve it once it's cleaned up. So we'll see what it looks like once we get everything out of here and we have the floor guy come and clean it out. We started on 41st as just okay. a brick and mortar, and then we wanted to expand a little bit more, so we decided on starting a food truck so we can ride the summer, and then we could do caterings, we could do larger events, um, and, then, uh, and then just have that as like a brick and mortar. Yeah. But this came up, this was available, and it, you know, opportunity to have a full kitchen. There, we didn't have a full kitchen at all. We like had lines out the door, and they just never slowed down, so we kind of, um, we're offered this opportunity, and it's like three times the space, so we went with it. Um, I'm not from the truce. My wife is from Kansas City, so she's kind of familiar more than I am. But um, we figured out it was a big deal when they started saying that how we pioneered something, and oh, we're, this is bigger than what you know people think. And then you know we start talking to more people. We have more. Uh, appliances. We had gas. We were working with gas on a food truck and not our brick and mortar, so. <laughs> but it gave us, you know, it gave us the opportunity to keep afloat while we waited for this, so. The process was pretty easy. They had a simple criteria, simple standards. Uh, as long as you meet the standards, they want to say yes. Let's grow, Casey Moe.